there I go. I am watching this video titled The Insane Biology of the Octopus by Real Science. On the subject matter of intelligence. Intelligence is the ability to acquire information. That doesn't count retaining it or using it creatively. Cool. Fucking dust everywhere. The octopus used that information creatively. So do a few other animals. Most of which humanity doesn't even notice. Even single cell organisms have intelligence, the ability to acquire information. It starts at the genetic level. What is called evolution is simply a creative application of the acquired information at the genetic level in order to adapt to the changes in the environment over the slow stretch of continuance. The human model of intelligence. That's creativity. The creative thinking process. And then the octopus model. Don't forget the genetic model that spans every single and multicellular organism, even plants. Now, let's see. After intelligence, you get memory. Well, that's simple with the genetic model. It's simply the passing on of genetic information from the parent cell or organism to the offspring. What color the hair is, what color the skin is, how tough it is, how thick it is, how strong or brittle the bones are. color of eyes, etc., etc. That's genetic level information. Well, humans, having a vague understanding of themselves, memories, are simply stored information. <clears throat> Works nearly the same way with all multicellular organisms. Though with single cellular ones, it's very intricate and difficult to observe, very difficult to observe, intelligence, memory, memory is just a measure of storing knowledge, so going on from that one that those two are entangled with into wisdom, the creative application of intelligence and memory to see patterns. This is where chaos theory comes in. 
the unpredictability of complex patterns, complex uh, algorithms, etc., etc. Well, the ability to see simplicity within the complex whole. And via the observation and memory of these patterns and the application of the most likely probability, the simplest of which is math, observing the addition of one and one, you already know to equal two. That's the beginnings of wisdom. It's called a logic. Math is a decent basis to observe forms of logic. Well, that discussion as to the forms and different variations of logic is completely outside the scope of my ramblings right now. Logic leads to wisdom. Wisdom is seeing beyond the logic and seeing into more complex types of things, such as the emotional equations of life, predicting people's behavioral patterns and how they will interact <clears throat> with other people and animal behavioral patterns. That's an example, not an absolute. It's a decent enough theoretical basis. Child sees puppy. Child likes to explore interacting with puppy. Child and puppy get along for a time. It's, it's really that simple. That's a very crude and rudimentary wisdom, but it is wisdom nonetheless. <coughs> Curious. An octopus carrying two halves of a coconut and using them as shelter when it wants to rest. It's anticipating the length of its journey, apparently. I say it because he or she, who knows? <coughs> hmm. Let's see. What else can I extrapolate from that? <coughs> An octopus may also be anticipating the probability or likelihood of uh, some other critter coming to annoy it. It's difficult to say how many variations there are for those scenarios because I haven't studied octopods octopi octopuses however you want to say it I haven't studied them but they are extravagantly intelligent with varying degrees of ingenuity. And some form of wisdom. It may seem simple. But in nature there's a, a rule of simplicity. Some of the most simple things become elegant. And some of the most elegant things are incredibly simple. Mm -hmm. 
as much as I'd like to hypothesize and guess about the octopus uh, driving um, motivations for what it does, uh, that would be wasting time just sitting here thinking. So, I'm going to end this video. Till next time, toodles.